this time of year, a lot of people dream of taking a vacation to paradise. And joining us today is travel expert and TV host Kinga Phillips, who's teaming up with Aruba to share some timely info about one of the most beautiful islands in the world. Welcome, Kinga. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for being here. So first things first, Aruba, why is it at the top of your list? Well, as someone who travels for a living, one of my favorite things in the world is planning a trip. I think it just brings so much joy and gives everyone an opportunity to look forward to something. And Aruba is the perfect example of that. It is so much more than a destination. It's an idea. They call it one happy island. And I can tell you from personal experience, it is exactly that, which is why every year Aruba attracts honeymooners, families, couples, friends, adventure seekers, and people who are looking for something that's just a little bit different than the rest of the Caribbean. Okay, so sand and sun, I'm already sold, but what makes this island mm -hmm. a destination that's unique from other places? Well, first of all, Aruba has one of the top 10 best beaches in the world, which is probably why it is the most revisited destination in the entire Caribbean. So everyone who goes, most people come back year after year and you can't blame them because it is 82 degrees and sunny essentially every day. The humidity is low. You have these amazing trade winds that keep you cool. And if you are an adventure seeker like me, which if you've seen my shows, you know that I love it all. Horseback riding, scuba diving, and the geography of Aruba is so conducive to land and sea adventures. So that is me horseback riding in Aracoc National Park for a Travel Channel segment that we did right there on the coast. You can also do Jeep safaris, hiking, biking. It's 20 square miles of amazing forest and fauna and if you are an ocean person which I love that is my happy place and you love to scuba dive one of my favorite shipwrecks in the world is there the World War II Antilla you can also snorkel you can kite surf you can windsurf you can sail and you can just enjoy the spectacular beaches it's me snorkeling around in one of the, the little like coves there the water is warm you don't even need a wetsuit oh that's really cool so lots of adventures you can pack in your vacay but what about the folks like me who like a little r and r whenever they travel what can i do to unwind well, that is a very fair question. So after you're done doing all the adventures, Aruba is also awesome because it offers so many wellness opportunities. Everything from meditation and aerial yoga to spa treatments with their world famous aloe. I probably brought back a gallon of that aloe when I went because it is truly that awesome. So plenty of unique ways to unwind in Aruba as well. Oh my goodness, and the backdrop just seems so picturesque for it all. An amazing location. So if we want more information on where to plan, looking at the temperatures or things that are happening, where can we go? Well, you can go to aruba.com and there you will find all the information that you need about Aruba, including the variety of accommodations that they offer. Everything from five-star resorts to boutique hotels to condos and villas, bed and breakfast. And if you are a foodie like me, Aruba is a cultural melting pot. There are over 90 nationalities that live there, so the cuisine is spectacular. So you will come back from Aruba with amazing memories, and I promise you that like me, the moment you leave, you'll be counting down the days to come back. <laughs> Great info. Thank you so much, Kinga, for joining us today.